How's it going everyone? Maximilian here, and we're gonna talk a little bit about a retrospective to Resident Evil Raccoon City. Uh, as we're gonna go through some Let's Plays, I, I'm really, I really enjoy a lot of you guys tuning into this Let's Play, as uh, it gave me a good motivation to get back into playing single player games again. As I was describing before, I have, I think I've honestly beaten less than two, like, actual single player games in the past three or four years. And the majority of those have been like Bayonetta and maybe Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 2. So this was kind of an interesting take to go back into playing just regular games again besides uh, competitive multiplayer games and things like that. Um, but I, I kind of enjoyed it and I enjoyed the experience, but if we're going to talk about Raccoon City and like my final thoughts of this game, uh, as you guys saw, I kind of like rushed through it, I, I, but the, the reason behind all that was I wasn't really enjoying it too much. Um, Raccoon City kind of reminded me a lot of things that had initial response and problem with when, the, when I first played the game at E3 last year. I, I'd almost say the game feels identical to that one, and the problems in the old one still stand. Uh, the biggest issues, I think, that plague Raccoon City are the control, uh, the response. You don't feel powerful shooting weapons. Um, when you put multiple bullets with, you know, your dude or or girl that is essentially a badass, you know, agent that works for Umbrella and has seen the likes of everything and killed the likes of everything, when you're shooting like zombies and you you see like them soak bullets up, it makes you feel less powerful, which is where the term bullet sponge comes from. And that happens a lot in this game. Uh, you have some zombies like the weaker peon ones where you can shoot them and their arms will fly off and that feels really cool. I'm, in honesty, I'd say the most fun moments, and there are fun moments in this game, but they are few and far in between, and they're essentially when you have a ton of zombies in a crowded area, and you blast them away, and you kill, like, you know, a freaking boatload of them in the span of a few seconds. But I, you can do that in any game, and it's fun, so you kind of kind of look at it like that. The biggest thing is that I played through the game single player, and this is definitely, absolutely not a game you want to play single player. Um, if we're going to talk about other co-op Resident Evil games that we can compare this to that, you know, are, 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 uh, made better by playing co-op, it's Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5 co-op makes the experience amazing, but I really enjoyed Resident Evil 5, and I even played through the majority of the game single player, and I really liked it. Like, Resident Evil 5 is a great action game, it's just not a survival horror game. Um, but for the sake of that, you have my perspective. I, I think Resident Evil 2 is second best next to Resident Evil 4 for the overall, like, Resident Evil scale. Right after that, I'd probably put the Resident Evil remakes, like the remake of Resident Evil 1, uh, probably tied with Resident Evil 5, even though they're two totally polar opposite games. And Raccoon City, uh, you, you, I get a lot of people asking me, like, should I start playing a Resident Evil game? Like, should I start with Raccoon City? Should I get Raccoon City? Well, for you guys asking, should I start playing this game for an introduction to the Resident Evil series? Hell no. Don't do it. Uh, this is not the game for you to get introduced to Resident Evil. If you wanted that, I'd say for the newer gamer, you could start with probably Resident Evil 4. That wouldn't be too bad. It's more designed around how modern games are. But if you want a taste of, like, the classic horror that is Resident Evil, try the remakes. I think you can get them on Wii and you can get them on, like, GameCube or get the GameCube one and play it on Wii. Uh, those are those are great games, and they're a lot of fun, and they're uh, challenging, and they're difficult, and you are rewarded for doing uh, for doing well. And it's uh, it's it's a lot different than what Raccoon City is. Um, so I, I don't like to give things review scores. I like to look things into perspective and to understand uh, what it brought to the table and what they were trying to do and what it didn't do. And I think one of the biggest design flaws around Raccoon City um, is the fact that. Or is when I, at the end of the playthrough, I was talking about this this realization I had a after the whole thing. I was playing as the guy who had, like, camouflage, and all of a sudden I realized that you don't have to shoot any of the zombies, or any of the hunters, or any of these, like, you know, monsters to progress in the game, like, 95% of the time. There's a couple moments where you have to shoot the liquors to keep going or whatnot, but the majority of the game is you running from point A to point B and surviving. Uh, they give you a ton of ammo, like there's ammo everywhere to shoot these things, and you get experience, like figurative experience that's used to level up some guns, but you don't really feel the effects of this leveling up. Like, I, I, was, I was buying stuff pretty consistently throughout my playthrough, and I didn't really notice the differences. Maybe that is really apparent in multiplayer, but as far as playing the single player campaign, 
I didn't feel a level of progression very much, and I felt that the entire game can pretty much be boiled down to running from the Umbrella logo to the next Umbrella logo, and doing that until you get to a boss, and then shooting the boss. Um, and that kind of sucks, like, for the sake of a shooter, which is what Raccoon City is, we, we'll all agree, it's not a horror game, it's a shooter. It's a raw co-op shooter, and because of that, the goal of the game isn't actually to shoot the enemies. Like, if you've played, I think, a much superior third-person shooter, for example, I would say Lost Planet 1 or Lost Planet 2, those games are difficult to play, they have some really weird design decisions, but they're, they're good, and they make you feel powerful, and they're fun, in, in my opinion. For those games, the objective is to kill the opponents, kill your enemies around you to progress to the next part of the level, and the next part of the level, like, opens up, or something like that. You have to get past an obstacle a lot of the time. And in Raccoon City, that's just not there. Like, the majority of the game, you can literally avoid everything and just run and finish the level. Sure, you're not going to get that much experience, but all, all things considered, it was really hard to tell, like, what I was getting experience points-wise, and if it's worth it to just, like, hose all these zombies full of bullets. You see what I mean? It's like, in Resident Evil games normally, you can avoid these fights and whatnot, but there's a lot of the time there's things you have to get out of your way, like there's monsters that drop things that you need to continue, there's there's areas you have to get past that to get to, to get a key to get to the next area, there's stuff like that. This is a basic progression game that the shooting kind of seemed like an afterthought, and it doesn't help that the shooting itself, like the controls of the shooting mechanics, they don't feel very good. And you need to feel powerful when you have a gun in your hand playing a video game. You need to feel like you're doing damage through sound, through visuals. And Raccoon City, unfortunately, doesn't offer that. So, no, I would not recommend this game if you are looking for an experience new to the Resident Evil franchise. If you're a hardcore Resident Evil fan, absolutely. Like, play the game. It, it, it's full of characters that you know and love. Unfortunately, they're not utilized very well in the single-player campaign. However, they are there. And the fact that they're there is pretty cool. The fact that it takes place in Raccoon City is pretty cool, but its execution is not so great. So in summary, I really appreciate you guys watching this Let's Play of Resident Evil, as I'm planning on doing more Let's Plays and playing through more single-player games and, and, and sharing the experience with my subscribers, as I, I really do find it enjoyable to read the comments and see what people think of, like, me thinking of what I'm, what I'm doing while I'm playing. Um, I think we're going to take a huge turn for the different, where I'm, I'm going to look at the next game to play, and it's probably going to be Journey, or Journey's the DLC game uh, that's available on PlayStation Network, or Asura's Wrath, which I hear is a very fun game, but it's very cutscene heavy, however, I'm, I'm looking for something that's fun and entertaining, like when I, when I think of what games are good, I kind of think it over inter overall entertainment value, and if I would play the game again, is there any reason I would play this game again? and I would definitely not play Raccoon City again. So please leave me a comment which game you'd like to see next, whether it's Journey or Osiris Wrath, and I'm going to go ahead and leave a little compilation of some of the crazy moments that we had during the entire, like, 14-part Raccoon City playthrough, and some of the crazy, crazy stuff that happened during this game. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next Yo! Video Games featuring either Journey or Osiris Wrath. Take care, folks. Ah, 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 ah! Ah! Okay, okay. Yeah, just jam that thing in there. That was the most precious looking neuro procedure I've ever seen. Wah! Okay, am I gonna get stuck in a loop of destruction? Yeah, I might actually. Will the game let me up? Will, will the video game let me get up? I don't know. Nope. The video game will not let me up. Yes! Resident Evil Raccoon City, everybody. Oh god. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, you guys keep shooting at that liquor. Yeah, man, it's it's a threat. Especially this guy. With his shotgun? Dude, he's got this! Look at this thing! It's way up there. I can't even, it doesn't even exist, but you know what? You guys are good. I'll take the rest of this game by myself. I'll see you later. Yeah, you shot him. Did you just jump into... Wait a minute. It, it, I... There are no words. Oh god, you guys. Please, please, why? Why are you so retarded? Yo, Bertha, what you doing in the tire? Bert, get out of the tire. Shoot straight anymore. 
during a melee, you can actually uh, press like X and B and Y. Why are you guys on fire? <sighs> okay, let's just go. Stop. Why are you on fire again? Can I melee the balls out of her? Yes, you can. Oh my god, I just executed the shit out of that woman. <laughs> oh my god. They left me for dead in that busted ass parking garage. Wait a minute. What? That's the end of the game? Oh no, Leon! Leon, no! Holy crap! Leon, whoop my ass! Holy shit! Oh my god! Dude! This game! <laughs> oh my god, that's the ending! Oh, oh man! Oh, oh my brain! Oh, oh no! Oh, this is so bad! <laughs> Oh my god, it was worse than the other one. How could it be worse than the other one?